Who doesn't enjoy a good romance story? Love can thaw out even the coldest of hearts. But what about the opposite of love? Cringe. I'm talking about YouTube dating shows, one in particular that I consider to be the worst dating show on YouTube. I made a video about it almost two weeks ago now, and I decided to dive right back into this pool of misery and take a peek at it once more to see where it's at. The show's called The Button. They take two completely incompatible people and sit them down in a sensory deprivation chamber with a table and a button in front of them, and the button interviews them to see if they'll go on a second date together. They can press the button if they want to get rid of their date and the producers will take them away and break their legs and replace them with another potential candidate, but there's never a second date. That's just a ruse. It doesn't actually exist on this show. The, there is just no chemistry between anyone that's ever entered into this Thunderdome. There's a healthier relationship between alcohol and liver function than there is with any of the people that come onto this show. It's pretty agonizing, and I can't wait to show you. <laughs> My name's Evan. My name's Hannah. Hannah doesn't wash her bed sheets very often. It's kind of off topic. Frequently, do you wash your bed sheets? I feel like it's every two weeks, and I thought that was kind of long, but to each their own. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. <You're> good. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Evan. You are eliminated. Already off to an absolutely banging start here. It really feels like when you watch this show, you're a kid again watching your mom argue with the cashier at Dillard's. It's just so uncomfortable. Nothing works and it's super fucking strange. So the question the button decides to break the ice with is Hannah doesn't wash her bed sheets very often. She says she washes them like maybe once a month. Evan's a little more hygienic. He does like once every two weeks. I know Hannah's bed sheets are looking like a goddamn crime scene. Once a month for washing your bed sheets is gross. That's going to have like that yellowish hue to them that they get when you just have like sweat and whatever on them. Like, oh, that's so, that's yucky. And yet it was still her that got rid of Evan. Why did you reject him? I just like didn't feel attracted to him, I guess. So the crucial flaw to this show is that everyone that comes onto it is wanting the spotlight. They want it to be all about them. They're the main character. So everyone is so quick to press the button. The second the button lights up, they press it. Because you can only press the button when it goes red, so the second it flips red, they race to slap the button so that way they can stay on the show. They do this because if they press the button, they're guaranteed to move on and they get more time in the spotlight. It just becomes less about dating and more about ensuring that they can juice as much time as they can in the episode. So they get rid of the person because it's safest. They don't want to get axed because then they didn't have a large role in the show. People might forget them. Whereas here, they get to go on guaranteed. What they need to do for this show is make it so when you press the button, it gets you out of the date. So when you press it, you're gone. You get ex escorted out the back of the casino. Because then there's less incentive to press it. Then you actually communicate and you like have a conversation. And then you're like, okay, I'm not feeling it. Bang, I'm out. I feel like that'd be a lot more interesting as opposed to every single one of these interactions going to like a Final Jeopardy moment where they're all trying to fucking press the button all at once. It just, it leads to every episode being exactly the same and just pretty insufferable. Her reasoning for kicking him off is I wasn't attracted to him, which is a fine reason, but the whole point is supposed to be like finding common ground and potentially a second date. Just getting to know each other. So having a split second to kick them off I think is just counterintuitive. It should be, I'm out of here. Like, man, I am really not attracted to this person. Bang, eject their seat. They shoot you through the fucking roof. I can, if I wanted to, like, just have sex with someone, I could. But I want, like... Sorry, Sapphire. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Hannah, why'd you do that? It kind of caught me off guard that she was a sex worker. And she kind of, like, intimidated me. Another date down, Hannah's quick on the draw. But what I want to talk about right now isn't necessarily what happened there. I want to go back to my theory on improving the button, or at least switching it up, where if you press it, it gets you out. I just noticed a fatal flaw. It could lead to an absolute doomsday scenario where there's some undateable, insufferable asshole who goes on here, and everyone that sits down in front of him just fucking hates him, so they all just keep getting themselves out. And he is just left there, sad dick in hand, with no one that's going to go on a date with him, so the show goes on forever. It could just be like an endless loop of sadness and it makes that person feel bad. It'd be much more insufferable for the audience. Like every time they sit down, it scares them away. Like 
my my idea also has a lot of flaws, but I also think it might be worth trying just to see what happens. When was the last time you two had sex? <laughs> a week ago? Damn. It's just like a hookup? No, uh, somebody that I've been seeing casually for a little while. Are you Patrick, are you Polly? I am, yes. Oh. Yes. Okay, have uh, you like been in a polyamorous relationship before? I, uh, this is my first... She got him with that bait and switch. She asked a question while he was answering, bang, pressed the button, kept his mind off it. It's a, it's a good strategy. You can get him with the, look over there, bang. We have so much in common. I mean, yes, yeah, screen and graphic design, my two personality traits, right here. <laughs> Sorry, Hannah. Sorry. You were eliminated. <laughs> you were so I nice. Um, loved meeting you. You're amazing. Yes. You had so much in common. I know. I just wasn't feeling the spark. And then also, if I'm being honest, uh, some of the people before were just like, she buzzed them out really fast. And I don't know about that vibe. I don't know. I feel that. Revenge for all those that came before her. All the fallen soldiers. She was able to defeat the raid boss on the battlefield here. This was surprising because I, I'm not even going to bother showing it, but they were, they were having like a normal conversation. They had like a couple things in common and then they both raced to press the button. Once again, just showing how it's only about like as much spotlight time as you can get here, not really about trying to date or anything. It's just not that entertaining because the small talk doesn't last more than 10 seconds and it's always just who can press the button first. Hey. Hello. Healy's. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's your name? Emil. Emil. Nice. Yeah. I'm Pi. Pi? Mm -hmm. your handshake? Handshake, yeah. Nice to meet what you. What are Heelys? Where you at? Bun doesn't know anything. Doesn't, okay. Yeah. You want to take this one? I mean, you're wearing that. Yeah, you're right. Uh, she was talking about not feeling the spark in the last one. God damn. This is the all spark right here. This is what the fucking war for Cybertron was all about in the Transformers movie. Good lord. The, the connection here is off the chart. You can really feel it. It's electric. They're like immediately engaging in back and forth hostility <laughs> over nothing. I mean, she just pointed out that he's riding in on Heelys and this dude's like all combative. He's putting up like a defensive shield right away. I, I don't know. I feel like we're about to witness an actual fist fight. Heelys are shoes that have um, wheels in them. So would you consider yourself a skater? I would consider myself an ex skater. Is it because the wheels aren't there? It's because, what? oh, on the Heelys right now? Oh yeah. You know what? You can't. I wasn't saying that. Do oh that. my god. Yeah, I didn't like that. Finally, some true love on display here. Casanova's really working overtime on this one. Dude's out here with a chip on his shoulder and something to prove, fighting for the good name of Heelys, and d God help whoever besmirched the reputation of Heelys, I suppose. She didn't even say anything like rude or mean or anything. She was just saying, well, I mean, like, do you, th are you a skater? You know? And he's like, oh, I didn't like that. <laughs> Trying to slap the button before it's even available to? My lord. Only when I light up red can you press me. Oh. This is awkward. Oh no. Yeah, Shit. wow. Wow. Um. This is so cringe. It is. I'm, I'm dying. I just, okay, I'm, I'm just gonna hit the button. No. no, I'm gonna, I wanna You're hit right, it now. No, now we both wanna hit the button button. I mean, I was vibing until you wanted to you make me leave, so... Well, shit. I hope that button never turns red so they can never leave this hell. They're locked in a prison of their own creation right now. Just don't let them out. Let them sit there and marinate in it like an awful, repulsive beef stew. Uh, like, this cauldron here is filled with nothing but passive-aggressive insults and, and anger. And God damn it. I'm cherishing every second of it. Um, what are you two looking for in a partner? Let's try and save this. Yeah, yeah okay. no, yeah. <laughs> um, basically, uh, I'm looking for a partner who understands Healy's. I do, is what I'm saying. You do? Okay. Yes. Right, cool, right. I was not making fun of you for the Healy's. You like the cure? <laughs> Sorry, man. It seems like this guy's whole personality is Healy's, so when he thought that they were being insulted, he tried to go to bat for them, like, to defend their honor. And it led to, to this catastrophe here. What are you looking for in a partner? Someone who understands Healy's. Of, of course he's saying that, like, just as another passive-aggressive thing to Pi, but, like, I don't understand why it hurt him so deep. It's like... 
her even mentioning the Heelys in a way he thought was belittling opened up so much trauma from his past that it's just it consumed him like like a darkness inside of his soul. <laughs> like I, I don't know what the fuck happened, but it, it, anyway, Pi goes on another date. They talk for like four sentences and they decide that that was good enough and they win. It, it, great conclusion. Just another wild episode of The Button. Uh, I don't think I'm going to watch any more of it. It's just really the same thing every time with people that aren't very nice to each other and have absolutely no chemistry or any ability to communicate with one another because all of them are trying so hard to get as much time in the video as possible, it feels like. So, it, that's about it, really. See ya.